Studios are constantly looking for ways to maximize the profits of their movies, and one of the most common ways to do that is licensing tie-in merchandise. This allows fans to take part of the movie home with them, even when it's still playing in theaters. Some items are a no-brainer, like the ever-expanding collection of Star Wars action figures, but not every piece of memorabilia is as great as it sounds on paper. Over the years, there have been some eyebrow-raising products that stirred up plenty of controversy, and once you watch this video, you'll be able to understand why. Here are 10 shockingly inappropriate movie toys you won't believe exist. Jar Jar Lollipop Lucasfilm was convinced that Jar Jar Binks would be a hit when promoting The Phantom Menace, so they made sure the Gungan was prevalent in marketing. Jar Jar was designed with kids in mind, and children love candy, so a combination between the two was bound to be a hit. Things didn't really turn out that way. The design of the Jar Jar Lollipop is baffling. Those who wanted to eat it had to suck on a suggestively shaped tongue sticking out while Jar Jar eagerly smiled back at them. It looked pretty creepy, and you don't need to have a dirty mind to figure out why some people took issue with it. Like Jar Jar himself, it would have been best if this never happened. Rambo Action Figure A go-to staple of film merchandise is the action figure. Franchises like Star Wars and Marvel sell toys of their characters so that children, part of their target audience, can create their own adventures at home. The key term there is target audience, since the Rambo film series was obviously going for a different kind of moviegoer. That didn't stop them from producing Rambo action figures in the mold of a G.I. Joe, complete with rocket-firing action. In First Blood, John Rambo was a complex character tortured by post-traumatic stress disorder. So it was a little jarring to see him sold to children as a plaything. Robocop Board Game When your family is ready for game night but tired of all the usual options, why not give Alex Murphy a call? It's true, Robocop the board game was a real option for board game fans. After a toy line and a Saturday morning cartoon show were produced, Parker Brothers made the game. Anyone who's seen Robocop knows why it would be inappropriate for children, given that the movie is an R-rated, extremely violent affair filmed with gruesome deaths. It's not exactly wholesome entertainment. We'd buy anything Robocop related, but this is stretching things a bit too far. Youngsters just shouldn't be exposed to Paul Verhoeven. Harry Potter Vibrating Broom After seeing the Harry Potter films, kids obviously wanted their own magic broomsticks to fly around on, and toy companies were happy to oblige. However, one product took things in a very poor direction. Mattel's vibrating broom caused a stir when parents became concerned after their daughters were spending a bit too much time on them. When adult sex shops started stalking the product, it was soon pulled from toy store shelves. The idea of your own Harry Potter broomstick is a fun one, but there was no need for it to vibrate. That's just creepy and unnecessary necessary, especially considering it was sold to kids. Alien Action Figure Here's another R-rated classic deemed fit for a toy line. After hitting it big with their Star Wars line, Kenner felt that anything sci-fi would sell like hotcakes, so they moved quickly on developing action figures for Ridley Scott's Alien. The first toy for sale was a Xenomorph, and once it was released, parents complained about how terrifying it was. Because of poor sale figures, the entire line was scrapped and Kenner moved on. This was for the best. The imagery and symbolism in Alien can make adults uncomfortable, so children don't need to be playing with face huggers and chest bursters. They can stick to Han and Chewie. Dune Activity Books It isn't out of the question for studios to team up with publishing companies to make activity books based on their latest films, giving young fans an opportunity to color pictures and solve fun puzzles with their favorite characters. But it's hard to see what the demand could have possibly been for ones inspired by the sci-fi flop Dune. Even though the subject matter was definitely not for kids, there were still coloring books made, which included illustrations of corpses on the floor and horrifying alien creatures. The decision to produce these was certainly a puzzling one, since any right-minded parent would see that coloring a corpse isn't great for kids' development. C-3PO Tape Dispenser Star Wars products come in all shapes and sizes, and just about anything you can think of has the famous logo attached to it. With so many working adults interested in the galaxy far, far away, there was sure to be an interest in Star Wars office supplies. Everyone's favorite protocol droid C-3PO was turned into a tape dispenser, and the results were hilarious. The roll of tape fit right between the robot's legs, creating an awkward image to say the least. It's not as bad as the infamous happy C-3PO trading card that's made the rounds, but the dispenser still has a curious design that makes you wonder what exactly they were thinking. Django Unchained Dolls Adult collectors have plenty of items to choose from to display in their homes, so the idea of Django Unchained merchandise wasn't all that out of the question. Still, the manner in which they went about it was odd. Instead of collectible statues or figures, 
dolls based on the characters were produced. Some felt they were racist, while others felt they were meant to appeal to children since they were in doll form. The line was pulled due to the controversy, and eBay later banned the selling of the toys on their site. These are now ultra rare items, so if you've got one, you can make a pretty penny if you decide to auction it off, just not on eBay. Buzz Lightyear Sippy Cup Kids love the Toy Story films, and there's no shortage of merchandise for them to enjoy. One of the most popular items for kids is the Sippy Cup, an ideal container for drinks. Disney thought they had it made when they put Buzz Lightyear on one, but the designer had a dirty sense of humor. The straw was suggestively placed right at Buzz's midsection, drawing way too many similarities to oral sex than parents expected from something connected to a family film. It's just another instance of Disney being inappropriate, which has a rather long history when you look into it. Suicide Squad Lunchbox Children love superheroes, especially Batman. But what about villains? This summer's Suicide Squad places evildoers and anti-heroes in the spotlight, and merchandising dollars still have to be made. There are some Suicide Squad products that fans can't wait to get their hands on, but others might stay put on the shelves. For instance, how many parents are going to buy the lunchbox with Joker and Harley Quinn on it? Although the film promises to be accessible and funny, it still features dark subject matter and rumors of an R rating swirled around for months. These characters aren't meant to be for elementary school students, and the lunchbox is probably too kiddy for high schoolers, so this is a no-win scenario. Those are our picks for inappropriate movie merchandise that was actually produced. Are there any we missed? Which ones have you picked up? Sound off in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.